Hi, my name is the Popper Guy. And I'm Mason Knopp. But Knopp, really. I take grave offense to this. I feel nothing. I'm glad. I, I'm empty on the inside. That's it. it I'm going first. It pleases me. Oh, boy. Oh, so hello, are... everybody. Uh, Mason Knopp and I have uh, decided to play a couple of our jank decks against each other and record the match. For those of you uh, uh, watching from my channel, you can already guess which deck I'm playing. Oh, gosh. This is not going to be a good game. <laughs> well, it's not going to be a good game if I don't get a playable hand here. I'm only getting uh, down to five. Oh, God. Oh my god, I gotta go down the four. It went from a very poor hand of seven, where it's just like, ah, I can do better, to a six <laughs> hand of just one land, down to five cards, no land. Oh, this is gonna be really rough for him. Oh. I've got a pretty decent hand now, my six god, wasn't too I, bad. Alright, I keep. I keep. So I'm on Goblin Spell Swarm, and Mason Knopp is on. Uh, five color control. I'm really curious to see what this deck's got. I think he's got a slight advantage over me. I haven't watched the video for his deck because I'm an amateur. So <laughs> you didn't do your research. I did not. I am not prepared. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. You have a hand of six. Yep. Damn, did you mulligan to four? Yeah. God, it was, damn. It was bad. Well, yep. I got some, you know I've got some bad news for you. On the quiet side. Oh, you're... Oh. I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> oh, this is... Can I auto concede? <laughs> auto concede that I can toggle? So the computer can just gauge that for me? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll get through this. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ash Barons. Alright. Hit me. All right, so like I mentioned on my video, we have to do math all the time. Uh, I have four cards in hand I can discard, which represents five power. Five times three is 15. Oh, it's not lethal yet. So I just Indeed. swing, basically. Yeah, I might, I, might, uh, I might pull through. I do have some stuff in the deck that does work against 1-1s uh, against one pretty well that I particularly have in there just for fairies. Gotcha. And if you get some of that, it's going to be rough for me. Yeah. It's not like electricery. It's not that brutal. If he doesn't have a okay. blocker, though, next turn I can just kill him. Uh, is it worth it to do this? Yeah. Alright. Come on, no blocker, no blocker, no blocker. Damn it! Playing the Ash Barons. <laughs> In five color. The world we live in. It's okay, it just saved you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, that worked. Now I gotta pray that I get a blue mana. Alright. That... That actually helps. I did find the thing. Hmm. I almost never do this, but... I think. So how long have you been working on this do deck? A partial attack. I've actually been working on this deck kind of on and off for like I don't know over a year probably. Like it's gone through a bunch of versions. It used to run Gush and Days. It was really good. Uh, I think we're just going to deal with here. one. Yeah. Because I want to keep pressure on. Yeah. 
That's not gonna save this one guy. That one guy's screwed. I'm good. We got to keep our second rights of initiation, so. Let's see, four, eight. I can do what ten next do? turn. Oh no! Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, now we have ground down to a halt. This sucks. Oh, yes. That's what I wanted right there. This deck plays two colors. With all two colors, you can now wait till next turn and then use. Yes, exactly. <sighs> It, it, it asks you if you want to block when you have no creatures. <laughs> like, it just just to make sure that you're okay. Really? I mean, yeah. damn. If you had any instance to play, maybe that's what it was doing. I don't know. This program confuses me sometimes. Yeah, I don't like the aesthetic behind it, but at the same time, it is, it's still better than Arena, in my opinion. Because so of just the sheer number of cards that you have available to you. I don't like Standard at all. Three. This is where we're doing more math. So I can play Augur, which is the slower play, or I can do play Dragon Fodder, get two more bodies. That would mean three times uh, four next turn, 12. So I'm going to go with Dragon Fodder, because if, then if he doesn't get another blocker, then I'll kill him next turn. So that seems like the right play. Alright, you give it for the one. So far this seems like two color control, not four color, or five color control. Yeah, it's uh, it's missing some stuff here. Uh, you'll see how it gets to five color control. Hopefully, in game two. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, let's see if Ooh, he's got that's, something. That's a that's another card. <laughs> well, where does that leave us? Two times. Sure, let's just give five. it a Oh man. <laughs> It's a long I can deal life. 10 How next turn. for a goblin is long? Two? I think you have to count in phases. How many phases is the is the life of a goblin? Uh, I'd say 20-ish. It lived a full life. Four, five. Yeah, I can deal 10 right now. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, in that case, we're going to auger. I love how they always have different uh, arts for the goblins. In Mirrodin, they have like shards of metal growing out of them. And is that is that John Goblins? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's awesome! Like everything in John looks like it's ready for murder for a murder knife party. That's what John does. Yeah. But we're gonna keep the land just to have an extra. Because even if we have two attackers next turn, or he oh, has one blocker, and we have three, then mm -hmm. um, I can still get around. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yes, yes. This is what we want. Do I play the land? I might actually play the land here. Because I'm going to go up to... I could pitch five cards next turn. Which I think is... More than I need. I only need to pitch four. So. I think Augur Bolas is going to have a life expectancy of six phases. This game might have a life expectancy of six phases. You gotta get something else going here, man. I mulled four and it hurt. And I'm drawing nothing great. Oof. Alright, alright. That's all he's got, then we're still gonna get this. Yeah, this is looking really bad for me. Um... I would tend to agree. Yeah, you know that Astrolabe deck? That existed before it got banned? I mean, oh yeah, the one with a bunch of stuff? Yeah. Oops. This one draws its inspiration from that. Gotcha. Oh, so it uses Abundant Growth, right? Yeah. And yeah, there's a the Goblin Guide. Oh, you just you wait when I get black mana. <laughs> There's going to be a massacre. Oh, you say that. Yeah, because I got I have one thing in my hand that I tutored for. Oh, all right. All right. Sure. There it is. 
Yeah. Do the Robins, get the negatives. <laughs> okay, now the sideboard comes in. Hmm. This is really interesting because I honestly have no clue what he's going to bring in. Five color control. Jesus. Well, I think electricery is probably a safe bet and dispel might be a decent include. I'm going to do at least one flaring pain in case he's got like COP red. Maybe two flaring pain. No, one because I'm going to keep the impact tremors in. Seems like the deck's kind of slow and if I resolve one or more impact tremors it's probably just over. Um, da, 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 da. He's got decent control, so I feel like maybe Delver of Secrets goes. Or not. Mm. <laughs> I can always say that. Delver always has some issue. The thing is, I really don't know. I even want to keep the Lightning Bolts because they can remove Heliod's Pilgrim. Um, I can cut one lightning bolt and at least one delver. All right, my sideboard and my deck are a mess of different colors right now. Hmm. Let's cut two delvers. All right, let's do it. What? Let's do it. Okay, I would like to play first again. <laughs> you sure? I am very sure. I am yeah, this is looking pretty good. sure. I, I will definitely keep this. This is much better. Yeah, I like this hand too. Yeah, we don't have an artifact that's called Author Rebirth, but... Uh, main phase, that forest. <laughs> I will get the first basic land and the first non-basic. I shall make a statement. Sounds good. Oh, oh, oh this got considerably better. <laughs> oh, I like this hand a lot now. Turn two, we're going to be able to play Impact Tremors. Um, and then turn three and beyond, I'm just going to start dropping dudes like there's no tomorrow. Cold Author Rebirth. We're going to do like Krenko's Command first. We're not going to do Cold Author Rebirth probably until turn four. Because uh, turn three, it's looking like we're going to have two mana again. But that's fine. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what we want. Oh, even better. So, let's see. I'll run out the red first. Ready for fun? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to party. Oh, let's party. <laughs> that's a party. Well, well I'm, glad I did, I'm glad I uh, made the correct play. Interesting. Draws a card. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to do the thing that I would like to do. Let's see it. Yep. There it is. All right, so accelerate the board state. Probably good that I don't have. Um, uh, rights of initiation right now because it would be pretty hard to attack in general to get around this Heliod's Pilgrim. It's a good thing we, we got that impact tremors. It's going to help a lot. Oh, <laughs> lightning bolt. Have you gotten used to the better. buttons on uh, Magic Online yet? Oh, I love this. A little bit. I've, I've rearranged one or two hotkeys and um, and I'm kind of getting used to using them. Still a learning process. I don't know why I have not rearranged the hotkeys yet. In League, I did that to like try and start working with my normal hotkeys that I would use for other games like Minecraft. And then I start playing League and I am immediately... Oh, good. Party. Party time. Party time. Well, just a small party. And then I immediately am messing up all the abilities because people only refer to the abilities in League as the buttons that they are naturally hotkeyed to. Yeah, that is true. Okay. 
Yeah, this seems correct. Are you definitely getting those five colors? Yeah, you got any color you want now. Oh, yes. Nexus Wardens. Ooh, all right, all right. Oh man, this is rough. I might run the goblins in just oh, so yeah, I can bolt right. that thing. I don't want him to gain two life over and over and over again. I don't have any seekers of the way, but I have Nexus Warden. Hmm. So I can gain some amount of life. I feel like Seeker of the Way is the Tarmogoy of Pauper. Just because of its prevalence and how powerful it is, how quickly it can get actually a threat. Or just two mana. Yeah, Seeker's a really big deal. Like, it's played in a bunch of decks. People don't talk about it, but that card is, is like, nuts. Yeah, just throw, attaching Lifelink onto it makes it that much better. I think Prowess is a big deal for a lot of decks. It's even it's even a big deal in Legacy. Like, there are um, not necessarily Prowess, uh, like, built entirely around uh, Prowess decks. But there are um, the Is It Blitz decks in uh, Legacy, where it's Delver and uh, Monastery, Monastery uh, Swift Sphere with Prowess. Yeah. All right, let's see what he does. Oh, what's yeah, this? Yeah, now, now he's curious. Come on, block with the Wardens. Block with the Wardens. Okay. All right. I got I pushed the talk on, is. by the way, so he doesn't know what I'm saying. Oh, I hope oh, we're yeah, not falling into not. a trap. <laughs> Uh, not what I wanted, but you know, I could it'd be just... tragic if this other goblin slipped. I could just after its long life of him. how long has it been? I think I'm gonna kill the pillar. Twelve, fifteen phases. And then if I get the nice. uh, then if I get the combo card, then only having one blocker is gonna yeah one. <laughs> Oh, uh, this will be interesting. When you play this, if you uh, if you watch my video afterwards, you'll get to hear all the comments that I'm uh, not saying over Discord. <laughs> so I think we're gonna just run out. Are you gonna do the voice Five over? more goblins. Oh, no, I think we're gonna run out. We're gonna run art. out two more. We're gonna hold the spell in case of electric or some other. Oh, I played a, a mono red madness deck. Using Gotham Raiders and uh, the Rites of Initiation. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I, I was just talking to a friend of mine uh, yesterday about um, Mono Red Madness. It's, it's got some really cool stuff it does. does it, did it use the worm? Yes, it uses the word worm. Uh, the Rites actually goes really well with the uh, border post, the red-green... Uh, Border post to return the lion to your hand and uh, fix you in case you want to uh, do green red uh, mm -hmm. madness. So you can have both worms. Interesting. I think this is the correct play. It's electricery. It's gonna. I'm gonna disappoint him. <laughs> ah, yes, this feels right. I'm ready. Better than spell. Oh no! I'm ready. <laughs> Why did I choose to tap for blue? Oh, garbage. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. Smart Guy. So he might have his own dispel in hand, which is fine. If um if a rights of initiation gets countered, it's it doesn't really matter. Like oftentimes in uh, if you're worried about rights of initiation rights of initiation getting countered and they have a blocker, uh, it can be handy to try to cast it main phase before you go to combat. So that way, like if it gets countered, you're not going to be left out where you're going to lose a one one to attacking. Oh, interesting. Oh, very nice. This is going to help quite a bit. Oh, that's bad for me. This thing is gonna eat how many? Two. It only needs two cards. Jesus. Yeah, that's, it's so strong oh, against fairies. So I played a dredge deck, 
and I ended up dredging some of these over and I just kept eating fairies. Their two for ones meant absolutely nothing because every one of their creatures just was consumed. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's fine. The many I'm impacts. At, I'm at 19, I'm at 16 life. Yeah, yeah, I don't you think know. you're in any danger anytime soon. Yeah, go ahead, swing. Nah. I think we gotta hope for um, a combo here. Like that's like our only way out. So if he kills, let's see, he can exile two other cards. God, he can do it twice if he wants. I don't think we come back from this. I think we just straight up lose because of the interaction between Mogus's favor and Nexus Warden. Oh, I really thought I had this one. Of course, Skyfisher. But why though? Oh, to redraw another card, I guess. Should have bounced the... Yeah, there you go. The Abundant Growth. And then he's got enough for one Mobus' favor. Alright, I'm going to give you the turn. Oh, or not. Now I'm really curious. If he's got Electricery... No, he doesn't have a mana. Are Goblins Elder Drag? Oh, Elder God. Goblins now? Yes, finally. Okay, so we can kill the Nexus Wardens and that might be important. get more powerful the longer they live in Magic. Like Elder Dragons and... Uh... And some of the elder dinosaurs. So if these goblins live ten turns, I think that means they are elder goblins. Yeah, goblins in this deck sometimes end up waiting in line for a long time. It's pretty funny. It's it's not a good sign in this deck, but uh, sometimes it's got to happen. I I think I goblin grenade the Nexus Wardens because I can't have him gaining two life over and over and over. Oh, this doesn't feel great, but. I think I want that Nexus Wardens gone. Uh, I think I would like that to live. No, don't. Why? Yes. yes. Oh, that's a blowout. <laughs> what? What? Why? That goblin lived a long life. He served his fellow comrades very well. Who? It's only his right to uh, be traded. For a we gotta keep drawing non lands. That's the only way out of this. Draw me a card. This is very bad. All this life gaining. Hey, give me some life. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh man, it begins. I guess you can only do it once. Alright, now I'm gonna give you the turn again. Jesus. So I try the same trick twice. Do I swing with all the goblins in the hopes that he blocks with Nexus Warden? If he does block with Nexus Warden. Then I get to kill the Nexus Warden. If he doesn't, well, I can I kill think the Course Guide Fisher. Pretty well. Oh, yeah, you've definitely stabilized now. Well, kind of. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Oh, is that a right of initiation? It is not, but I hope he thinks it is. Come on, block with all your dudes, block with the Wardens. If he's got another spell starter in hand, I'm just going to get blown out anyways. Oh. Yeah, I actually feel very safe. I feel very confident. I think that I am safe. All in. <laughs> I want that thing dead. <laughs> you get you get nothing. Oh, man. Is you it another spell stutter? No. Oh, it's a prohibit. Oh, all right. All right. Five color counter spell. Prohibit. Just like Trump. I think I'm going to look at one more card and then concede, unless it's something that really... If it's like an Impact Tremors, I might keep going here, because... Like, if I if I draw two Impact Tremors right, just right off the top, in a row, then I think I have a game. But otherwise... 
I can't rebuild a board in time. The tempo, the tempo yeah, difference is too tap, big. But I'm gonna let him tap him while he's on the stack. Dang it! All right. Well, I'm gonna leave you with that one goblin. No, you know what? I'm not leaving you with anything. Kill it. I am. Go I ahead. Am. I'm removing it. He's lonely. End his misery. Hey, two legs. Alright, tapping out. Shields down. Yeah, you're probably okay. I don't think you have to worry about me, like, playing and attacking with a bunch of goblins out of nowhere. Oh, is that not empty the warrants? Uh, empty the warrants is the storm card, and it doesn't give them haste. Yeah, but you do have the sudden, uh, the impact rumors? I guess that is true, yeah. But empty the warrants is banned in popper. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's also banned with the uh, temporal pleasure, uh, and um, yeah, the other storm cards that are all broken. I'm gonna concede this yeah, one. All right, that's fair. I just um, three lands in hand. No thanks. I have, I have one mall drifter in hand with a tranquil thicket, so I'm definitely willing to. Uh, oh gosh, I I see this one card in my sideboard, but I don't know if it's worth using. I didn't see any targets for the flaring pain. That's going back out. Um, <laughs> hmm. No, it's fine. I don't know if the lightning bolt was good or bad. It took care of the other creatures, but it didn't take care of the creature I really needed to die. And, uh, this deck, if you look at the mm, September 2019 version of Astrolabe, a lot of my, like, half the creatures in that deck are in this deck. It's because Abundant Growth area. plus Core Skyfisher is so good. Or, in this case, Astrolabe versus, uh, plus Core Skyfisher is just really good. Yeah, oh, um, I also got Dreamstalker. I don't like having three to spell. It's uh, the 1-5 that does the same thing as Core Skyfisher. I'm guessing you didn't sideboard a lot during that game, right? Oh, I changed a few things. Just a little stuff here and there. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, prizes? What do you mean, prizes? So there are, there are like prizes for this game, right? <laughs> I mean, do you want to? Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet I put, up, I put up 10 subs. Ten, yeah, ten subs. Like we could just, we can just ration that off. I got ten, I got ten bots ready to sub at any given moment's notice. Oh, how do we open this? I think, I think we preordain yeah, turn yeah, two impact tremors and then ball? we start pumping out dudes. So he, he blew fifty subs on on Nick's game. <laughs> well, he's got the subs to spare. Oh, yeah. see now he's I like this. His subs. He's got more than than Wizards of the Coast. Kind of like both these cards. Well, right stuff on the top big one. That in. Yeah, I need both actually for the other cold author rebirth. We're just we're just gonna run them over. This is this is gonna get real ugly. Um yeah, we're still gonna impact tremors first though. I mean, we could just dragon fodder and then I don't need to impact tremors. I don't need to spend a turn doing it. Yeah, this deck is heavily skewed with its removal to deal with uh the mono green stompy. And some of the uh, aggro decks, and, like heroic decks. Well, we'll see if it serves you well. I'm still getting used to to oh, passing. Oh, right. that's what the electric is for. Yeah, maybe we do impact tremors. Maybe. We don't. We play Dragon Fodder this turn. We could call Dotha Rebirth. The world is yours. And Impact Tremors next turn. 
No, it's the same result either way. Yeah, we do we do impact tremors first, then we do five goblins, and then we probably just win. I believe it is. It's just whatever I had. I don't have any fancy basics on here yet. Impact tremors. Yep, let's start it out strong. Where's my spell pierce? It's gonna be five goblins next. I guess I'm doing this. Ah, uh, yes. Show me that slow start. If he doesn't curve directly into electric right now, I'm just going to run away with this game. Oh, I've got the wrong mana. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I shouldn't have even played that. I should have preordained first. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. May have just thrown. Oh man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. We're gonna take both of these. This looks pretty have choice. Have you thought about leaning into the the artifact side of this deck, like with a uh, thought cast or uh, maybe a Galvanic Blast? I have thought about that. <laughs> We're ready to have some fun. Double Nexus Warden, go. Even Double Nexus Warden won't save you. Not from this. Double Nexus Warden has served me well. He's going to take 10 damage just from impact oh, on the next speaking turn. Of Nexus Warden, yeah, there he is. <laughs> too little, too late. Oh, man. It's not often I get to play two Impact Tremors in a game, but when I do, hoo-hoo, boy. If they don't have me on a tight clock, then I usually win. Pains me to do it. You hate to see it. All right, you ready, for, it. you ready for fun? Oh, gosh, what is this? Uh... Uh, double Dragon Potter? Oh, eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I auto? Yeah, I just I just clicked it too to auto yield. Just to impact tremors, anyways. Oh, just an impact tremors. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Here we go. Okay. Ten damage. Your turn. Wow, that is... I don't even. I don't even need uh, rights of initiation at this point. <laughs> really now? You don't. You don't say. Yeah. Next turn, I think I actually don't rights on the off chance that he like electricries. He waits for me to rights and then tries to blow me out with electricery. So I think I just swing five. I think I have to do it. Or four, even. Like, if he puts a blocker down, or if he kills one of them, they, that's fine. They're so young, but... Yeah, here it comes. You know, they party hard. They had a pretty good life. <laughs> they, had a, they had a great life. They got to deal ten damage. Oh, no. Don't play a block. Come on, now. Here's a Dream Stalker. Oh, that's inconvenient, but fine. Enjoy removing I'm gonna it. take him to four. Yeah, I don't don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, that's great. I think this is about as close as it is possible in Magic to get to five color nonsense for Popper. Oh man, I'm one creature off. This is very sad. Because I am actually trying to play all five colors, all the best cards that I can fit that work. Do I just do it? I think I just do it. I've got flicker nonsense, I've got all the good sideboard cards. Time for more fun. Let's have another party. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Well, that looks like you, you partied out, right? Oh, right? We'll see. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. 
Not a good sound. If he doesn't play another blocker or if he doesn't remove one of my goblins, then he dies next turn. But it's a pretty good chance of him doing at least one of those two things. Or gaining life. It's never a good idea to assume your opponent's going to do literally nothing for an entire turn. <laughs> Oh, there's the Nexus Wardens. That's okay. We can keep pace with the Nexus Wardens. I think. Oh, alright. Oh, that's so fun. If I can get one creature, this can turn around too. Especially a one drop. There you go. They're rocking and rolling oh, wow. all night long. Too Such slow. loud music. It's shaking the ground. Too slow. Turn it down. Three. Not going to be worth it. Ooh, this is a little rough. And we're just going to have to wait. I think... I think we have... I think we have reached a pretty close point here. I'm glad It's that never great that. when I just have to pass and do nothing. If I get an auger right now, or... Most of my most of my stuff is two drops. It's not great. Like ideally, he doesn't fuck with the creature, and then I get to play like a Delver. No, that wouldn't work either. Into shared discovery. There's no way I can share discovery in the same turn. Ah, uh, silence. Hmm. Do I stop the hydroblast? I think I stop the hydroblast because keeping my impact tremors is more important than keeping my goblins. So. No. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. None of that, thank you. None, none of what? <laughs> Don't need you destroying my second impact tremors. Oh, I feel Mogus' favor. Oh, okay. Seems fine. Here comes the life gain. Alright, what we get? Come on, come on. Hey! God it's damn. your favorite! Oh boy, oh boy. I got it just for you! Oh, man. This is bad, because I need both... Two more creatures and a mana. I can't get both of those. Ha <laughs> ha! That's exactly what I wanted, yes. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You, you needed another mana. And what are you doing with that one blue? What are you going to do with that? We're gonna draw some cards. No big deal. Yes, this is what sure. we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. No All right. big deal. So he's got. Uh, let's see. This doesn't add mana, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five mana. He can Mogus his favor once, maybe twice. Uh, that means two creatures get through, and I still kill with a rites of initiation. Um, if he mogus his favors good? twice, then I get recall? one creature, and I could potentially still win if I play no lands. So, as weird as it is, I'm going to play zero lands. Maybe I play one... No, I don't. I could play the Evolving Wilds and then set up for an Augur plus rights next turn. But I think I just play zero lands because it's probably better. Especially because that'll kill the creatures too if he blocks. Yeah, that's better. I also go to the uh, meta decks. For uh, for popper like heroics and burn and stuff. Oh yeah, that might be good. We can test against those at some point if we want. Yep. But for now, I like playing. I like playing jank versus jank. This is pretty cool. It's fun because you don't know what to expect. Absolutely. Well, that's good. It means he's not going to Mogus' favor twice. I can still do it once? Yeah, I can still do it once. That's not great either.
He's going to be forced to block, though, with Nexus Wardens, which means uh, next turn I'm probably just going to wipe his board, which is good enough. Like, we'll keep an Impact Tremors on board. Hmm. One blue. Three colors? Is that the wrong colors? Oh, fuck. He's gaining life. There it is. Back up to a sweet seven life. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. I will. I will I will definitely enjoy it while it lasts. Because I don't think I can afford to attack. <laughs> okay. Let's see. If I swing... Oh, do I play the Dragon Fodder or do I swing? Let's see, I swing with three. This can only make one mana, so we can't electric read my board. You can maybe kill I know one, one of those, of those cards that you so. have in your hand is not a land. So oh god, I have to play a mountain for Rites Initiation anyways. One dispel oh, I'm so fucking dumb. Recall. Man, I punted. I should have played Evolving Wells last turn. Or actually, ponder. Uh, I guess I play Mountain and then Dragon Fodder and then just pass again, which is not great. Before I started playing Hopper, I played Legacy a bit. So switching to thinking that Preordain is better than Ponder. What's the math say here? It's so odd because there's such a lack of uh, good two. special lands. Oh my god, I take him to one life. There's such a strong case for a. Uh, Ponder. I take him to one life, and three attacks. Good. I don't kill the Dreamstalker, but I kill the Nexus Wardens. It's easier to just not shuffle your deck. Yeah, I don't do it. We wait one more turn. Alright, in combat. Oh, well, I'll Let's teach get some you. more dudes out there. I'll teach you. You can a Hydro Blast? Oh, alright. No. <laughs> uh, almost. <laughs> almost. Hmm. Okay, so what's like he could easily one, two, three, four, five, six. He could easily double Mogus's favor. That puts him to nine. And takes me down to five dudes. Yeah, let's let's oh, be greedy. Shit. I'm not gonna have cards in hand either way. Let's let's be greedy. Oh now he's in trouble. I think that was very much the wrong oh. move. That let's, means three are going to get yeah, through. No. Yeah, he's dead. Unless he does something else. Sorry, friendo. But now it's over. Uh, we're going to write pre-combat here because if he has interaction... It's better, or if he has a way to like like counter rights, it's better that I find out right now. All right, let's see if it goes. <laughs> what you got? Come on, you don't what need you that. got? You don't need that. I don't need it, but I'm gonna use it. All right. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna continue being greedy. If I'm going out, about. I'm going out with a bang. Okay. <laughs> yeah, why not draw two more cards? <laughs> That's always the answer. Just draw more cards. All right, how many cards are you discarding? Oh, all of them. No big deal. I drew Pyroblast instead of Hydroblast. We're just swinging for 28 damage. It's no big deal. Yeah, I only can let in, what, one of them? Oh, great. Yeah, no, that's... Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, it's just 12 minutes. Uh, these seem like the appropriate ones to block. This seems this very appropriate blocks. I knew I, was, I knew I had a good chance to lose, but I'm like, ah, uh, screw it. Oh, All right, well. I'll 10 subs. That was fun. I'll take those 10 subs, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the match. We're going to we're going to record another one here. So um
it'll be released separately, but, uh, you know, stick right, around, pay attention. And, um, this and one was see you in the next video. Ah, Bible's cantrip.